Form up. All ships at the ready. We have a situation that requires your immediate attention, Comrade General. The Republic of Korea has made a move we did not anticipate. I am tracking Korean vessels en route to what I expect to be a landing near Vladivostok. Comrade General, Premier requests your immediate attention. I'll put you through. Ah, comrade! I was just reassuring Comrade Yuri we have nothing to fear from the Republic of Korea. Perhaps the Premier is forgetting he must remind the world of his eminence. Yes. Well, yes. But do not be troubled. The general here, after doing so well with New York, surely can handle the threat. Perhaps. But I, I think we should call Vladimir. As you wish, Comrade Premier. General. <laughs> He is war hero. He needs rest. <laughs> Take care of the Republic of Korea, comrade. Show them how we treat our enemies. Greetings to you all and welcome back to Command and Conquer Red Alert 2. So Vladimir, the famous war hero. He's partying hard. The estimated time remaining until the Allied fleet arrives, Commander. New construction options. But that's understandable. Building. He works hard, he parties hard. He's a Russian hero. He's living up to many stereotypes. But he's having a damn good time whilst he's... Construction. Busy. Building. We shall take the helm. Control the army. Now, as I understand, we're in Vladivostok. Which is a fantastic name. I don't know where it is. Other than the fact that it's somewhere in Russia. And it seems that Vladivostok is defended by exclusively one submarine. And we were going to build a base here, but we thought, nah. So we're going to quickly right some of these wrongs and get to work mounting a defense against the Koreans. Korea, part of the Allied forces. In skirmish mode in this game, each of the different Allied forces has a slight different advantage. Korea has better aircraft. Don't think that's going to come into play in the campaign, but it's a thing that exists. Building. So I thought I'd tell you about it. The Allied Air Forces are threatening our position. Deploy our flag cannons and they will turn the enemy's air units into scrap metal. Understood. Construction complete. New construction options. Uh, let's get more. We're going to need it, right? What do you scout with? Conscripts or dogs? Obviously conscripts. Unit ready. Some things are just too valuable. Order received. Comrade, moving out. Waiting orders. For the Union. This invasion's coming very fast. Building. Maybe I should actually build some units. And some Building. defenses. Garrisonable buildings. This is. Our base is under attack. Unit I thought I thought we agreed ten minutes no rush. What are you doing? Complete. You've broken the rules. But the Koreans are an honourable people. I'm very disappointed in you all. Our base is under attack. Building. Repairing. Fortunately, the Koreans are not fielding the Korean Black Eagle jets. They are instead fielding bog standard Harriers. So you know that's that's in our favour. Building. Not knowing what I'm going to be attacked Building. by is kind of frustrating here. Construction complete. Civilians are actually on my side, aren't they? I looked at him with malicious intent, I don't know why. Complete. These are friendly Vladivostokians. Unit I must ready. protect them. Building. Also, I must build a radar so I can see what I'm doing. I swear, you take away my minimap and I'm just... I'm lost. I'm having flashbacks, I don't like this. Get away from that field, it's too dangerous. They can't be trusted, you don't know who they're working for. Construction complete. New construction options. Ship reporting. Okay, this map is very much a left to right map. 
Two flat cannons enough. We'll get one more and we'll call it a day. Building. Building. Sea Scorpion is our basic boot. It's essentially a dis destroyer, I suppose. That's a good word. That's a vaguely naval term. I'm gonna, I'm gonna level with you guys. I don't know the technical differences between words like destroyer, cruiser, battleship. I, I, I don't really know what makes what what. If you're in any doubt, three flat cannons makes you entirely impervious to all airborne assault. It's just that easy. Ooh. Hello. Comrade, I have just received a demonstration brief of our terrifying new anti-armor weapon. They are affectionately referred to as terror drones. Do you like, Comrade? I thought you might like to play rough in battle. Our base is under attack. I like, Comrade. I like. So, terror drones. Training. Fantastic unit. Unit ready. What is a terror drone? It's a little spider. Little robotic spider that runs around. And if it comes up against civilians, it mauls them to death. So sorry, friend. Unit ready. But if it comes up against enemy armor, it infests it. Building. It infects it, it burrows deep inside the armor and it rips it apart from the inside. Fantastic unit. When you said an allied fleet was coming, I thought you meant it was going to be naval, so I built a lot of submarines. Now uh, they feel kind of useless because it was just a landing force. Never mind, the landing force feels kind of useless as well. Also, I've got one house. Can I repair it? No, I don't have that kind of technology. I'm pretty much impervious here. Let's actually get some units. Units are good. New rally point established. Ah, we'll, get, we'll get a little mix. Get some point how this one building with five conscripts in it just defeated two tanks. Our base is under how that even works, I've no idea. Ready. But you're going to see a repeat performance. There are drones to have it a pop. So he's in there and he's going to rip this thing to shreds from the inside. And what that looks like, in practical terms, is it makes the tank violently rock back and forth. Not just a little bit, the thing... It's like there is a localized earthquake beneath one of its treads. It is comically vibrating. That's the general theme with this game. Most things are just comically overdone, but it's fun, so why not? I like the way the game is explaining what all the units do for me, so I don't have to explain it to you. I can't use my mini-map. Soviet General, we have made our stronghold in your motherland. Prepare for your death. It was just dawned on me that I was missing with my torpedoes. Our base is under attack. I'd rather not lose this. Our base is under attack. I mean, it's not the end of the world, I can rebuild it. It's kind of inconvenient. Fine. So be it. Oh, what is this? You've taken the lighthouse. Does this give you some kind of technical advantage? Can you see rocks which I cannot? Are you aware of the fact that I have taken the cows? Alright, conscript, it's time to scout. This does mean you're all going to die. And I apologise for that, but... We'll get to learn what the terrain looks like. In Vladivostok. Where we live. The place that we're very familiar with already. 
two can play this lighthouse game. Training. Our base is under attack. Unit ready. Repairing. And like I don't have enough flak cannons for this. Building. Building. Unit ready. Just building a little bit of everything this time, it seems. There's no plan here. The only plan I have is to avoid the cows wherever possible. Unit ready. Unit ready. New rally point established. Now I'm going to try something bold here. Unit ready. When I have a nice mixed army, I'm going to try and control it like someone who has played an RTS before. Unit locked. It's it's not going to work, but it'll be fun to watch me attempt it. Unit lost. Guys, Unit the lost. village is here. I mean, you've got everything you need here. You've got grain, you've got a to one toilet. So you're fine. Why are you running out here Unit in the gem lost. fields? Unit ready. Look, if your bombers couldn't succeed, what chance have you guys got? He's not deterred. Right. Uh, good effort, lads. Strikes me there's just a whole lot of nothing between me and the enemy. Okay, this technically is a force, so here's what we're going to do. These chaps. Control group three, at the back. These chaps. Control group two, in the mid. Everyone else, literal cannon fodder at the front. Terror drones mixed in with the cannon fodder. They never see it coming. Behold. Moving multiple control groups. There you go, I did it. Let it be known that Artega can press buttons. Go, oh, my drones. Devour them like dogs. Unit lost. How satisfying. I never thought of it this way, but I guess a terror drone's an upgraded dog. It's a dog that can also bite tanks. Is that a good analogy? That's a great analogy. I don't need this much anti-air on the sea. Also, I don't need that much anti-boat on the sea, but I'm going to keep building it, because I don't know what else to build. Maybe just some of this. Training. You can never go wrong with conscripts. Conscripts are unbelievably powerful, by the way. Well, I mean, they're not, but they're unbelievably cheap. Unit ready. It doesn't even occur to them that they could bomb my attacking force. They've got a plan and they're sticking with it. Unit ready. Only one terror drone can infest a unit at a time. But this tank, this violently shaking tank, is done for. So is this one. Just wait. And laugh. Laugh as physics no longer applies to them. Oh yes, a terror drone comes out, by the way. Terror drone isn't finished. He goes in for a second bite. Unit ready. Our allied harvesters, when they chrono back to base... The Terradrome falls out. The Terradrome doesn't have chrono technology. So he's just left in the ore field. Is that a bear? Unit ready. Hello? Aren't you adorable? Lost. The fight has begun! Promoted. We can't Unit admire the lost. wildlife anymore. Unit promoted. Also, I didn't bring any anti-air with me at all. So, this is a problem. Unit lost. Instead, let's just brute force our way through everything. Unit lost. How did you Unit like my lost. tactical approach, guys? I built this artillery, lost. I'll keep them at the back in a separate control group and I'll try to play properly. End result, fired one rocket, hit my own men, and then all of my artillery died to these four guys. Because I didn't build a single Unit piece of anti-air. I mean, it's just, it's just by the numbers by now. I don't know what you were expecting.
Yeah, it's okay. The main meat of the army is still alive. The conscripts. We're on the clock here. We've got no way of killing these guys. We're just here to deal damage. If I can kill this, I win. Ooh, hang on. I suddenly have a good idea. You might think that being this high up means I could shoot this flying guy. Well, he's having a good time. But you'd be wrong. Place your bets. It's six conscripts versus a building and two boats. I am aware of the fact that I can move on land. Honestly, we might win that. Repairing. How Unit lost. on earth did a terror drone Repairing. just attack a flying man? I, I saw the tail end of this and I don't Unit know how it happened. I have no clue. Oh, by the way, I've given up with the whole control group thing. Welcome to control group one. It's everyone. I still don't have any anti-air, do I? Building. Okay, let, let's fix this problem. We've got two choices for anti-air. Flak troopers, which are slow, and flak tracks, which are fast. I think it gets which one I'm going for. Unit ready. Take shelter, man. Take shelter. You'll be fine. Ready. Unit lost. Okay, retreat. The flak tracks are coming. They're not instantaneous, but they are coming. Just, just keep running. Here we go. Finally, we can shoot upwards. Someone has the technology required. With quite good range as well. Black Tricks are one of those units. They're fantastic at doing what they do, but they're useless at doing anything else because they literally can't. They're a transport, and they shoot air. That's it. The enemy doesn't have any air, they're not very good. And that makes me not want to just build them outright, whereas conscripts, I'll happily build 50,000 conscripts every single level, they're always good. Rhino tanks are always pretty good as well. There? There? What's your... What are you getting so uppity about? Unit ready. I don't know, you guys can be control group 2 or something. Unit ready. All right, here's the plan. We take out this. The artillery finally doing something of merit. We take out this. Honestly, the artillery can take out the pillboxes. Why not? I guess you'd call that efficient. Going on. Don't get crushed, guys. That'd be a foolish way to go. Death by Harvester. Unit it's never good. Lost. Never pretty. Unit promoted. I'm going to destroy this building because it's in my way. That's as good a reason as any other. Unit promoted. And since I'm down to nothing but mass conscripts once again, I'm going to take my time to destroy the pillboxes. They're the only threat I got left. That was an ambitious structure. Unit Unlucky, try again. I don't know the name of the Korean leader. Unit you unit can't... Promoted. You can't attack my units. It's against the rules. We had very clearly... Stop building pillboxes, man. We had very clearly unit established promoted. rules here that said you would only bomb my base. For unknown reasons. Unit promoted. Unit lost. Unit promoted. All right, I've had enough of this. Unit promoted. Unit lost. Amazing how good one flak track is when you actually think to build it. Building. I'm not sure if anyone else is surprised that anti-air is good against air, but apparently I am. Alright, there's also a whole naval battle to go, isn't there? Alright, let's go.
Slow and steady. He's gradually getting promoted over there, so that's nice for him. Wait a second, is the flak cannon attacking a building? I thought they literally could only attack air. Why do I know nothing about this game? Oh, I can't kill this guy anymore. But if I destroy this, then my opponents can't build anything. All they can do is harvest, which is... Irritating, I suppose, from a financial point of view. They're somehow chronoing the funds out of here and back to Korea. But practically, it means the fight's over. And just for fun, let's have a look at what the naval side of things would have looked like. I like how this mission started with a 10 minute timer to try and scare me. Ooh, you need to be really careful. The big attack force is coming soon. What was the big attack force? It was four tanks and about eight GIs. Unit ready. And then nothing ever again. Ready, comrade. Unit lost. My comrade was ready. Why did you do that to him? Yes, commander. Unit ready. I don't want to be too demanding or anything, but your naval forces don't seem to consist of any naval units. If anything, I'd say that your naval forces are one building. However, I've got your aircraft on lock now. If they ever take off, the boats will just bring them down. Maybe a slight touch of overkill with the number of submarines I built here, given the resistance we faced, but... Ah, oh, well, they got the job done, right? Now I can just send all these units to the front lines in America. It's, it's a long journey, but we'll get there. I hope Vladimir is proud of me. Vladimir would have done this with fewer losses. And less... effort. Less attention. A bit more retreating. But he would have got the job done, because he is a war hero after all. Unit promoted. That was one man with a dream. Thank you for the vision of the entire map. I'm not sure why I've been given this. What, what do I need to kill? The cows? Because I'll make that happen. I don't see anything on the minimap. Did I have a mission objective that wasn't killer? Oh, I just saw... I just saw my target. It's an aggro harvester. Just when you think all is lost, the harvesters give it their all. One final gambit, one Hail Mary attack. Didn't even know I had these things. You notice the harvesters don't bounce quite as much as the tanks do, because they're heavier, I guess. Mission accomplished. Cheer, my men. Cheer! Would you look at that? The Koreans are already talking peace. That's what happens when you mess with Vladimir's protégé. That's going to do it for this one. Next time we're going to continue with the Soviet campaign. Hopefully you'll join me for that. And I shall see you then.